In the previous episode of How It Works, we talked about the dispersion ellipsoid, which was the area where shells will fall. In today's episode, we'll tell you about shell trajectories and how ballistics work in World of Warships. Four factors affect the shell flight trajectory in World of Warships. Mass of a shell, its initial speed, shape coefficient, and wind resistance, depending on altitude. Let's start with practice. We'll take two Tier 10 cruisers with 203mm guns, Hindenburg and Des Moines. Des Moines fires its high explosive shells at a 15 km distance and the shells reach the destination in 10.2 seconds. However, Hindenburg shells cover the same distance in 8.5 seconds. The explanation for this is that the two cruisers have HE shells with different weights and initial speed. How will their flight trajectory look? The Hindenburg shells have shallow and flat ballistics because of their high speed, while the Des Moines shells have steeper ballistics. Therefore, if we know the weight of a shell, you can look up this data on our wiki and its initial speed, we have a clear understanding of the ship's main battery ballistics and know how to use them in battles. For instance, the Hindenburg's flat ballistics are better for firing at manoeuvring targets in the open and over long distances, while the Des Moines high-angled ballistics are more suitable for firing at enemies hiding behind islands. As you may remember from our previous episodes, the high initial speed of a shell is one of the conditions leading to armor penetration. However, shells with a lesser initial speed and steeper ballistics are more likely to hit not a ship's side, but its deck where the armor is thinner. Moreover, ballistics also affect the shape of the dispersion ellipsoid. If the ballistics are steep, the ellipsoid will be shaped like a sphere. If the ballistics are shallow, the ellipsoid shape will be stretched out. Different types of shells on the same ship may have diverse weights and initial speeds. This difference may be insignificant for destroyers, but, for example, Cleveland's HE shells fly for 1.25 seconds longer than its AP shells at the maximum firing range. You need to consider this when you choose a target lead after switching to another shell type. Of course, you'll only get a better understanding of ballistics through practice. Subscribe to our channel and you'll increase your knowledge and improve your skills. Click the bell so you won't miss any new episodes of our show.